Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I haven't really done a video like this, but a lot of you always ask me what are my favorite products. So I want to actually do this kind of video every couple of months and just show you what products I am really into at the moment. And I always have like, you know, so many new products sent to me and I test them out and then I review them and I see if I like them or I don't like them. So I thought it'll be a really nice way for me to share with you what I really like at the moment. So this will be my March favorites and let's just get to it and I'm going to just show you a few products that I'm really into at the moment. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you my first product. I absolutely adore and I've been using this now for a couple of months and it's a fresh product and it's a soy face cleanser and what I do with this I really take my makeup off with that and it's so gentle and I just really never feel any stinging around my eyes you can take your entire eye makeup off with it you can really like massage the product into your lashes and it comes off beautifully there's no stinging it doesn't strip any of your skin and it's just a beautiful beautiful product I highly recommend it and it's all natural it's paraben free fragrance free and you can get it at sephora give it a try it's wonderful all right and let's get right into skin and makeup this powder i found a few weeks ago it's by too faced and i've also just used it a few times now in some of my videos it's the too faced primed and poreless product and I love this powder because it's so lightweight and it really does what it says. It just, the minute you put it on, your pores disappear. And when I personally use it, I have it on right now, I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of powder. It takes the shine off and I really like it. Again, you can get this product at Sephora and I think you should give it a try. All right, this product is for your eyes. It's an eyeliner. It's by Ico. And I really like it because it's a little bit thicker than most eyeliners, if you can see at the tip of the brush. And I like it because you can get really close to the root of your lashes. And it's a wonderful pencil. It's a collaboration with Alexa Chung. So check it out. It's a great product. All right, I'm going to show you my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment. Now, this eyeshadow I actually found through another YouTuber. His name is Monsieur Alex. And thank you, Alex, for introducing this product to me because I didn't know about it. It's by Tom Ford, and it looks like that. And it's the Coco Mirage palette. And it really doesn't look like anything you know, particular when you look at it, but it's just the perfect, the perfect brown shades and to do like a beautiful smoky eye, but in a more softer way. And if you just want to like find the perfect brown palette, I think this is the one to choose. And I really, really like it. I've used it a lot now on my clients and everyone really is into this palette. So I think you should check it out and give it a try. All right, so for contour, I've been using a lot of the Chanel Le Beige products in the number 50, and Bobbi Brown was very generous, and they sent me a beautiful package of a lot of products, and I've tried a lot of them. And the one product which really has stood out to me is this Bobbi Brown uh, bronzing powder. It's, it's the bronzing powder in natural. And it's just a perfect shade for contouring. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. And I really like it. I've been using it a lot on myself. And it's a great palette. And um, it's a nice alternative to my Le powder by Chanel. Now moving on to lips. This is a product I've been using a lot on myself. I'm actually wearing it right now. I've been doing a tutorial with this product. It's the Stila All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss. And the color is Nude Vinyl. This is what it looks like. And it's really a mixture between a gloss and a lipstick. What I like about it, it's just, it has a really nice pigment. It's It stays on all day. It's very long lasting. And I don't feel like it's too sticky. It's just a perfect combination between a gloss and a lipstick. I really like the color. And sometimes, you know, when I'm working, I don't really have the time to go back and, you know, touch up my lips. So I like the idea that it really stays on for a long time and it still looks very natural. So give this product a try. I really, really like it. 
another lip product and this is more for nighttime this is another product which was sent to me by bobby brown and this is a beautiful lipstick looks like that and it's called uh crush plum in number three now i find this to be the perfect plum color i'm gonna swatch it for you and the texture of the lipstick is just really creamy and beautiful. And I've been wearing this a lot at nighttime. All I really do is I apply the lipstick, I put on some mascara, some individual lashes, and I feel very pulled together. The whole look, it just comes together and it's not a lot of work. You can do it very quickly and it's a very effective makeup look and I think you should give it a try. Now I'm going to move into brushes. I'm going to show you two brushes I really like at the moment. The first one is a Chantecaille foundation brush and it looks very simple but what I like about this brush is I like I like it because you can get really close into the corners like around the nose and around the chin area. Now you've been seeing me use a lot of times the bigger foundation brushes. So what I do with that brush is I buff it out. But if you need to go into like, you know, more detailed areas, I think that this Chantikai foundation brush is definitely a winner. So this is something new, but I've been using it a lot lately and I really like it. And another brush I just recently discovered, it's a Sigma P82 brush, and it looks like that. And what I've been doing with this brush is I use it for my concealer and it just really is great for like buffing in the product. And what it does, it just gives you a more airbrushed finish. All right, so I'm gonna move into nails. I get so many questions about my nail colors all the time on Instagram. And lately I've been wearing this color I'm wearing right now on my hands, it's by Essie. The color is called Ladylike. And the reason why I like it, it's just a pop of color and it's like the perfect lavender, like a very light lavender color. And it just, you know, gives a really nice pop to the hands. And I think it really, you know, complements my skin tone. So I've been using that a lot. Now I'm gonna show you another amazing nail color. This is by Tom Ford and the color is Quill. I think this is the perfect spring summer color. I've been wearing it on my toes and it's just gorgeous. It's like the perfect cool color. And I think everyone should pick up this nail polish. It's fantastic. It's, it's just a great, great cool. So let's move into perfumes. In my last video, What's in My Bag, I've mentioned to you guys that I am a big fan of wearing perfumes. I have a perfume collection. So I'm gonna show you another perfume today and this one is by Victor and Rolf and it's called Flower Bomb. And I wear this a lot during the day and it's just a very beautiful florally scent and it has patchouli, rose and orchid in it and I just love wearing this during the day. It's not too heavy, it's just a very nice and light fragrance and a great perfume for during the day. All right, my last product for today is a hair product. It's actually a hair tool. It's a hair iron. And if you are curious how I do my personal hair, this is a tool I was sent to by Sarah Potempa. And she is actually a hairdresser in my agency at the Wall Group. And she designed this hair iron. This is the iron. And what you do is you take a section of your hair and I just take a little section and then you clamp it in with this little clamp right here. You clamp your hair in and then you press the go button. I don't have it on right now, but there's this go button somewhere right here and you press that and then it goes and it like curls the hair for you automatically. And then you just wait a few seconds and then you release this little clamp and then you pull your hair out and it just gives you this perfect beachy wavy hairstyle and it's so easy it's foolproof now she also has a website you can go on she does a little tutorial and you can learn you know with her how you can style your own hair and I honestly have to say that this is one of my absolutely new favorite things of all times because it makes it so much easier for me to do my own hair because I don't have the luxury of having a hair person do my hair all the time so I can do my hair in like 10-15 minutes and it looks pretty good and yeah I think you should give it a try. Now, these were my favorite products for this month. Now, if you like this type of video, 
let me know. I have never done anything like this and I'm planning on doing more like that in the future for you. Now, but you really have to let me know if you like this type of video. So you have to give it some thumbs up and leave me some comments and let me know what you think about those products. Now, if you have any special requests, leave it on my Instagram and I try to respond as much as I can to you guys. And again, leave me comments and some feedback and I can't wait to see you next time. 